Bonnie Storm from Ninja Bunny Crochet. I've got this cute little Pokemon Ball Cup Cozy for us to do. One of those little things my husband and I like to do is we go out and we play Pokemon Go. Helps us get out, walk, and whatnot. But we also like to have iced coffee. So I made these cute little Pokeball Cup Cozies to go over our, our cups with. I made it with worsted weight yarn, a little bit of red, a little bit of black, and a little bit of white using a 4.0 or a G crochet hook. So, gotta catch them all. Let's get started making this Pokemon Cup Cozy. To start the Cup Cozy, start with a slip knot on your hook and we're going to chain 39. If you haven't done so already, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you won't miss any of my tutorials. Once you have your chain of 39, flip your chain over and we're going to be working in these back loops of the chain. Second chain from hook, place a single crochet. Continue placing single crochets into each one of those back loops of the chain all the way down to the end of the chain. I will meet back up with you at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made to form a ring. Do not worry about this little piece right here that's not connected. We'll take care of that at the end. To sound route two, we're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet back into that same stitch we just slip stitched into. Let's get this little tail out of the way. And then we're going to single crochet into each stitch around. Continue single crocheting into each stitch around till you come back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round two. I have 38 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. To start round three, we're going to chain one and single crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. Then we're going to single crochet decrease into the next. To do the decrease, we insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert it into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three stitches. Excuse me, all three loops. Then we're going to single crochet into the next 16 stitches. Then we're going to decrease one more time, insert our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three. Then we're going to single crochet in the remaining 17 stitches.
continue single crocheting until you get back to the beginning and I'll meet up with you at the end of the round. I'm at the end of round three. We now have 36 stitches and we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. For rounds four through six, they're going to be exactly the same. We're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way around. At the end of round six, we're going to change to black yarn. So I'll meet up with you at the end of round six when we're going to change colors. So chain one, single in the same stitch, and in each stitch around. And I'll meet up with you at the end of round six when we change colors. I'm at the end of round six. I have 36 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into our first, the first single crochet that we made, but we're also going to change colors. So we're going to pull our red to the inside and we're going to bring in our black and pull that to the outside. And then we're going to do our slip stitch and we're going to pull up our black just like that. Chain one. Now we're going to snip off the red and we can tie these together just like that. One little knot and two little knots. We can weave these in when we're done. ready to continue with round seven. We're going to single crochet into the same stitch we just slip stitched into and then we're going to decrease in the next. Again, insert your hook, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Then we're going to single crochet into the next 15 stitches. Once you have 15 stitches, we're going to single crochet decrease again and then we're going to single crochet in the remaining 15 stitches. When you get back to the beginning, we're going to change colors again. This time we're going to change to white. So please single crochet in the next 15 stitches and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round when we're going to change colors again to white. I'm at the end of round seven we have 34 stitches now and we're going to bring our black to the inside and grab our white because we're going to change colors again and now we're going to slip stitch into that first stitch I know it's difficult to see because it's black pull up our white and finish our slip stitch Now we can snip off our black and tie these two together. Again, we can weave these in afterwards. Chain one. Now, row eight and nine will be exactly the same. We're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around so start with placing the one single crochet into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and one single crochet in each stitch around. Please continue with rounds eight and nine and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round nine. I'm at the end of round nine. 
we still have 34 stitches. We're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet that we made. Chain one to start round 10. We're going to single into the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. We're going to single crochet decrease. Then we're going to single crochet in the next 14 stitches. Then single crochet decrease. Then single crochet in the last 15 stitches. Continue doing this for the last 15 stitches, single crochet in each stitch, and I'll meet back up with you at the end of the round. So I'm at the end of round 10. We have 32 stitches. I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch that we made. Chain one to start round 11. 11, 12, and 13 are exactly the same. One single crochet in each stitch. I'm going to meet back up with you at the end of round 13 to show you how to do an invisible finish to fasten off. So single crochet in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into and one single crochet into each stitch around. Please continue single crocheting into each stitch for rounds 11, 12, and 13 and I'll meet back up with you at the end of round 13 to do the invisible finish. I'm at the end of round 13 and we're going to fasten off. So pull up your yarn straight up and snip it off. Now we're going to get our yarn needle and we're going to thread that end up. Hold up your project so you're looking down at your stitches and you're going to thread your yarn needle through that first stitch under the stitches just like that so you have this little half stitch right there it looks like a half a stitch and you're going to bring your yarn over into the last stitch that you made so it goes in like that and it looks like you have another stitch so it makes your finish look invisible bring it to the inside like this so you're going to turn your work into the inside and here's your yarn and weave it under some of the stitches I usually go down a little to weave it in and make sure you're not too tight so you might want to flip it back over and pull it a little bit to make sure it's not too tight it still looks like another stitch you can just pull it in a little bit make sure it looks okay which it does it still looks like another stitch and turn it back inside out and continue weaving it under. You want to make sure you get this securely weaved under because you don't want your piece to come apart. So 
So go back and forth two or three times just like you would any other time you're weaving under weaving an end in to make sure it doesn't come back out. Just like that and then snip off your yarn. And then you're going to do the same thing to that bottom one too. That bottom right there where we left that little gap. We're going to do the same thing to the bottom. Thread up the yarn needle. And that's why we were going in those back loops too. So it looks like we have stitches. So we're going to do the same thing, and we're going to go through the stitch. And since we have this turned inside out, we can bring it straight down, just like that. So it looks like we have another stitch, and then we can weave it under a few stitches, like so. And then go back and forth, just like you would under any other time you are weaving an end in. Careful not to go through to the front side of your work. just like that. And then you can snip it off. And I'll have you go ahead and weave these ends in too. I'm going to weave mine in off camera and I'll be right back to start this part right here to start the button. All of my ends are weaved in and now we can set this part aside and start on the button. To make the button, we're going to start with a magic ring. Place your yarn over your index finger and your middle finger, lock it down with your thumb, wrap it around your two fingers to form an X on the back of your fingers. Take your hook, go under the bottom strand, grab the top, pull it through, and twist. Grab your working yarn and make a chain stitch. We're going to place six single crochets into the magic ring. Once you have your six single crochets, pull your tail and cinch it closed. For round two, we're going to place two single crochets into every stitch for a total of 12 stitches. Oh, that's a slip stitch, sorry about that. Before you complete your 12th stitch, grab your black yarn because you're going to pull up your black yarn. You're going to change into your black yarn. Nice 
one single crochet in the next stitch and two in the next. One in the next and two in the next. One in the next and two in the next. And you're going to do this all the way around to get back to the beginning. Once you get back to the beginning, slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made and fasten off. You can go ahead and weave in all your ends and then with your long tail from your fasten off, you can sew your button onto your cup cozy. So here's our finished cup cozy and here's what it looks like on the cup like we had in the beginning. So if you've liked this tutorial please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you won't miss any of our my tutorials. Thanks for watching and happy crocheting! Bye bye!